G'day everyone, Wayne from Land and Bay Fishing in South East Queensland. Well we've just hit January, right in the middle of mackerel season, so I'm going to do a spots and maps video about mackerel. We'll show you some of the lures we use, how we fish it, a little bit of footage uh, catching a few mackerel, and most importantly, where we fish. So let's get on with it. Firstly, normally I live on the peninsula, so normally I put in either Clontarf or Scarborough. When I put in a Clontarf, it's because I want to go to the Measured Mile or the Four Beacons, or both. Uh, the Measured Mile from Clontarf is approximately 15 kilometres, give or take a kilometre. So the first spot is the Measured Mile. We rock up at the Measured Mile. There's two beacons in the Measured Mile, obviously. That's how they measure the mile. Both beacons work. One beacon's a tripod, the other beacon's a straight beacon. Believe it or not, the straight beacon seems to do better than the tripod. Uh, the tripod attracts all sorts of fish. You'll get your snapper in, uh, through the winter months and you'll get um, a shark there as well. A lot of good shark at the Measured Mile. And uh, most importantly, this time of year, you'll get your mackerel. Now, how do you catch your mackerel? Right, there's a million different ways to catch mackerel. How I catch mackerel, it's easy, it's clean, is on these slugs. This is a 40 gram Helco twister in gold. Um, that's a 40 gram Helco twister in silver. They're probably my go-to. Though they will do me 80% of the time. When the current is absolutely roaring, I will upsize to around that 55 gram. 55 gram, marginally bigger, and it goes real well. Now, depending on the bait fish they're feeding on, sometimes the Helco twisters won't work. Rarely, but sometimes. When they don't work, I try a few other things. These here, I don't know if you can see the bend in it there. You see that bend? They come straight. Now, that's just lead. When I buy them, I put a bend in them so that when they go through the water, there's a little bit more action, and that seems to work a lot better on the mackerel. So spend a few minutes, just put the smallest bend you can in there, just so that it gets a bit more action as it flies through the water. The water. That's all you need for mackerel. Mackerel will take slugs all day long. You can catch mackerel on bait, no problem at all doing that. Throw on your, um, your three gang hook. Sometimes they're feeding on the bottom, sometimes they're feeding on the top. If they're on the top, obviously float it. If they're on the bottom, we'll then send it down with a little bit of lead and get it down to the depth that they're at. You're about probably four or five meters further in. I reckon there might be a ledge or something there. If I throw up there and let it come back, I'll bet I'll hook up this time. Yes! Stay back! Only a little one, I think. Oh no! Yeah. Oh yeah, he's not 50. He's 60. Okay, moving from uh, the measure mile across to the four beacons, approximately the same course, uh, 91 degree course from Clontarf to get to the measure mile, 98 degrees to get to the the four beacons. Um, the four beacons, 23.4 kilometres I've got down on my map there, but it depends on which beacon you're going to. It's anywhere from 24 kilometres to about 26 kilometres to get to the four beacons. The four beacons work. You hear the four beacons mentioned a lot, and the reason you hear it mentioned a lot is because they work. They hold fish. So it's a great spot to, to give it a shot if you're uh, chasing mackerel. All the beacons work in the bay, okay? So every beacon will work. You'll pull up at any beacon on the on its given day and, and you'll catch mackerel there. The beacons that I'm talking about are the ones that I go to more frequently because they seem to be the ones that hold on a more regular basis. The measured mile, the four beacons, and on the next map you'll see that uh, when I'm fishing the northern part of the bay, it's M1, 2, 3, 4, and the lateral beacons that surround them. All these beacons work very well and they're fairly close together so you can move from one to the next to the next. When you're fishing, really important to be quiet. Try and find a beacon where there isn't anybody else fishing if that's possible. And when you do find the beacon where there's no one else fishing, don't roar up to the beacon. Get up further, get, go around the beacon, take a wide berth, get up current and drift back so that you can cast fairly close to the beacon and drift silently across that beacon. This time of year on the inside of the bay, most of the mackerel you're going to get are either going to be school mackerel or spotties. 
and they're not that big. School mackerel you'll get between 50 centimeters and 70 centimeters and spotters you'll get between 55 centimeters and 80 centimeters. So that that's about an average size mackerel for the inside of the bay. So the line class you use, I use 20 pound line, so 20 pound braid and 20 pound leader. No wire. At the moment you put wire on the bay, you'll reduce the chances of you catching mackerel by about 80%. Don't use wire in the bay. The method, how do we catch mackerel? What you do is you find your, you find your drift, get your drift right, you throw up toward the beacon, you let your, your slug get all the way to the bottom. When you know that that's on the bottom, you give it a really quick hop, hops off the bottom, creates a bit of disturbance, and then you wind hard. Wind all the way back to the boat as fast as you can. When you get it back to the boat, you just repeat it. And you keep doing that over and over and over. You will catch mackerel when you find a patch, you'll catch them on near every cast. You just gotta find a patch of mackerel. That brings us to the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button and catch you on the next one.